Hey everybody, it's Amy. So this is currently how I'm keeping track. I like the budget by paycheck workbook, but that cover keeps popping off and I'm not a fan of that. So right now I just made this. It's each one of these is a sticky note so I can change them very easily without changing this whole paper. Um, these are my automatics and it's 476 and 344 which comes out to $820 every paycheck and then I'm going to keep track of my months on here I, but I want to keep track of what I actually pay for February on here because this is what I take out of each check for the next month but I do have to know what that is every month in order to keep track so I still haven't figured out the best way to do it. It just never seems to turn out the way I want. All right, so let's go ahead and do the cash stuffing. I had to close the bathroom door. I've got dryer going because my puppy decided that she wanted to keep trying to um, climb in into everything in there. She's getting stuff out of the trash and everything. She's just a little rambunctious thing. One, two, three, four, four fifty, five, five fifty, five seventy, five ninety, six ten, six thirty, six fifty, six seventy, six ninety, seven ten, seven thirty, seven fifty, seven seventy, seven ninety, eight, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, twenty six. 27, 28, 29, and 30. So let's make that sure that was right because I should have had 790. Yeah, and I added 40. Okay, that's perfect. Look at that count in 50s. Who knew that I would eventually learn how to do that? And for a long time, it was not something that I could do. Not only could I not do it very well, I just plain I couldn't hardly do it at all. So, all right. So I do have a piece of paper beside me that is telling me what goes where. All right, can you see that? Yeah. All right, so storage gets the same 60 that it always gets. Sometimes I do go ahead and pay that but it's so early that I don't need to do that yet. 20, 40, 60. If it's kind of the middle of the month when I get my first paycheck, I will go ahead and pay it. I mean, it just sits on the account. It doesn't do anything. Um, it just sits there until it's ready to be paid. Phone bill gets 225. Everything's already been taken out of here and paid for February, except the electric, which I did take out of here and put it in my savings account to pay. One, two, 25. So as soon as that bill comes available, I can pay it. Television is 118. Yeah. One, 10, 15. One, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. One, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. For TV. Chase gets ten dollars because the rest of it goes from my automatics. I have money left over, and so that money gets put on my Chase bill, and then it needs an extra ten to pay the rest of it. Credit one black. Guess what we get to do with that? It's paid off. I don't have that bill anymore. So we get to get rid of it. I'll keep the envelope because I'll use it for something else, but that credit one black is gone. 150, 70, 90. 150, 70, and 190 for the truck. I just gave that to my husband yesterday for the truck payment for February and so I am ready for March. feels really good to be a month ahead. I 
even if I spend money, I make sure this is done first, 20, 40, 41, because it, I worked hard to get this and I gave up things to get this and I do not want it to go away. I don't ever want to be behind. 20, 40, 45, and 46 for my ally payment. PayPal will come out of next paycheck, the next electric bill, and student loans will all come out of the next paycheck. Let's see what's in this one. We have insurance. So let's take a 50 and see what we have. Insurance will be coming due in March and I will have to add the new camper on. Hopefully we get it. Um, so yeah, that's, this is, but this is for the regular insurance payment. One, two, three, four, 450, 470, 490, and 500. Normally it's like 650 for me. So I'm very close. Extra debt, we're not putting the money in there because if I do pay extra debt, we're just taking it right out. And then maintenance, yeah, we're not gonna do anything else in this binder today. And the fun binder. All right, new camper. We're gonna skip this and I'll say why here in a minute, but check out my next video of my 100 envelope update and that will explain this. Racing. We are going to take a 50 and it's empty. So we're just gonna put a $50 bill in here because I need a hundred for March. So the next paycheck I'll put a 50 and then March's payment will be paid. And I do have an extra 40 that we are going to add to Daytona. So 20, 40, and 60. Now, if by chance I need this money for the Richmond race that's coming up at the end of March, I will take it and use it for that. And I will take this money as well, the Bristol money, and use it if I need to for the Richmond race. But currently that's where they're sitting and I'd like to keep them there, but Richmond race is coming up very soon. So, I really probably should just just know that that money is going to go to Richmond, even though it's in the Daytona envelope for food, whatever we need. But I'm, I've got some, so I'm going to get rid of this and then I'm going to go ahead and film the 100 envelope challenge so that I can explain to you why I am not currently putting any money into this envelope. All right, see you soon. Bye.